Skywatch Media News for February the 13th, 2020. Nearly 29 years ago, in the year 1991, an enormous eruption occurred at Mount Pinatubo located in the Philippines. It was an event that was valued as a VE-16 eruption on the Explosivity Index. Many of you may remember that event. It produced high-speed avalanches of hot ash and gas, cataclysmic mud flows, and a cloud of volcanic ash which was hundreds of miles across. It became the second largest eruption of the 20th century, the impacts of which were felt for many years following the eruption. According to the latest data assessments, there is a 95% probability of a powerful eruption of 5 or greater on the Volcanic Explosivity Index within the next 5 years. If the assessment is correct, then the expectations are almost certain of an imminent large volcanian-type eruption similar to Pinatubo or Krakatoa. Here are some important figures to help you understand the reasoning used to back up these scientific predictions. Back in the 19th century, eruptions of 5 or greater occurred on average every 11 years, with the eruption of Tambora in 1815 being the greatest. Then in the 20th century, this list is showing an eruption of 5 or greater occurred at intervals from 1 to 23 years the average being just over seven years. The eruptions of 1912 and 1991 were classified as VEI-6 in strength. So what this data is inferring is that we are overdue for the next super eruption because we have already surpassed the average span between eruptions over the past 200 plus years. The present span now sitting at nearly 29 years dating back to the VEI-6 eruption of Mount Pinatubo in June of the year 1991. If we consider what has taken place so far in the 21st century, the 2010 eruption in Iceland reached 4 on the Explosivity Index, followed by a VEI-4 eruption in Chile in the year 2011. This was followed by an eruption of Mount Etna in 2012 that was rated as a 3 on the index. Therefore, the last VEI-5 to occur was Pinatubo in the year 1991, so a value 5 eruption is very much overdue. So what are the impacts and the consequences of a VEI-5 or greater eruption similar to the one which occurred at Pinatubo in the Philippines? The short-term consequences are primarily a result of the population of an affected area and the time required for evacuation. In today's world, populations are much higher, but the warnings come much quicker, as does the mechanisms for evacuation. At the beginning of this century, the numbers of people at risk from volcanoes was estimated to be in excess of 500 million and the numbers have only increased since that time. The long-term impacts involves the location of the eruption. A massive eruption could trigger a year or two without a summer. It happened in our past, and it could certainly happen again. What could determine whether such an event would repeat itself involves the extent of the ash, the altitude of the plume, and how long it persists. The magnitude of the eruption would be the driving factor that could have the potential to catapult the Earth into another mini ice age. The key to survival would entail the ways and the means to reduce the disaster risk and increase the resilience to volcanic catastrophes. The good news, if we wish to call it that, is that some of the more destructive eruptions in the past 2,000 years, with a few exceptions, had a VEI value lower than 6, a value which is considered as bordering on catastrophic. 
Vesuvius is among those volcanoes that are grouped into this category. Its eruption in 79 AD is listed as 5 on the VEI index, having destroyed both Pompeii and Herculaneum. Among the largest explosive eruptions since the year 1500, there have been 20 listed as VEI 5 or more, with only the Tambora eruption of 1815 reaching a value of 7 on the index. It's interesting to note that there appears to be little, if any, correlation between the size and the magnitude of an eruption when it is associated with the resulting damage. As an example, the volcanic eruption in Colombia in the year 1985 was indexed as a VEI-3, but this eruption triggered mud flows that caused one of the worst volcanic disasters of the 20th century. Of the most powerful eruptions since the year 1500 in terms of casualties, there are only three that are considered as devastating with a VEI greater than 5, that being Tambora, Krakatoa, and Laki. We should also consider the long and the short-term consequences of super eruptions with a value of 7 or 8 on the index. These type of eruptions have impacted the Earth's climate for long periods of time. They do this by forcing ash into the stratosphere at very high altitudes, similar in scope to the 1994 satellite image of this stratovolcano located on the Kamchatka Peninsula. The movement of the ash across the Earth's stratosphere caused by this type of eruption triggers temperature changes which results in crop failure and eventually famine and epidemics in many parts of the world. When Tambora erupted in the year 1815, it produced 19 cubic miles of ejecta into the atmosphere, resulting in a year without a summer. After generating abnormally low temperatures across China, Europe, and North America. At this moment in time, we are witnessing significant changes taking place as the Earth moves into a period of instability. What we can all know and understand is that volcanic eruptions are extremely dangerous and they are highly unpredictable. There can be no way of preventing them from inflicting serious damage to our planet. This is why the scientific community has indicated that within the next five years, the likelihood of a VEI-5 or greater eruption is close to, if not more, than a 95% certainty. The short-term effects can be minimized with proper preparedness, but the long-term global effects may be something that we will have to endure for many years. Volcanic activity has been increasing exponentially since the early 20th century, and it has increased dramatically in the last 30 years. Volcanic eruptions are now becoming more intense and more frequent, and therefore more unpredictable. The chances of a volcanian-type occurrence similar to Vesuvius or Mount St. Helens in any given year outpaces the other natural disasters known to man. Volcanoes are associated with global catastrophes as well as mass extinctions. Their ability to create chaos is unlimited. One of the most active volcanoes in the world, and one that is closely monitored, is Indonesia's Mount Merapi, which rises 9,550 feet above sea level. In the early morning hours of February the 13th, the restless volcano erupted, spewing volcanic material for more than a half a mile radius, while ash rained down on villages located more than six miles south of the volcano.
Mount Merapi is a very dangerous volcano. It erupted four times within a three-month span in the fall of 2019. Those eruptions were followed by a deep volcanic earthquake. The country of Indonesia was struck with more than 11,550 volcanic earthquakes in the year 2018, resulting in the loss of many lives while leaving many others homeless. Eruptions similar to Merapi are happening all across the planet, and for those who live in its path, it is imperative to keep a watchful eye and to be vigilant for the unpredictability of these mighty forces of nature will continue. As you look towards the heavens, know that the earth and everything around it is connected. The sky, the moon, and all that exists above us are seen as a mystery. Thanks for watching.